Hello PHS, I'm Cam Romner here with Gunther Gillespie, and we are proud to present to you the third episode of Cougar Media News. Preparations for the 2018-2019 Minithon have already started. Taylor was able to talk to Olivia Richardson to learn more about what we can expect this year. Um, so we really want to get the student part participation up. Um, a lot of people think that it's just about like raising money, but if we don't have the student participation, then we're not going to be able to raise money. So like, that's one of our big things that we're trying to do. Yeah, so we had, our first meeting was during prime time last week, and we had probably about 35 kids. Um, so we have about seven different committees that we're holding this year, like throughout Minithon. Um, and there's a bunch of kids signed up for each one of them, so we're really excited about that. Um, I think definitely like breaking down the committees. Um, so we have like a finance committee, like a communications committee, so like giving people those options of like the different things that they'd be interested in. So I think that really helps. Um, we usually have our meetings in the morning um, at 7.15 or during prime time, so you can sign up for um, Ms. Robinson's prime time or you can just go talk to them. Help make Minithon great this year and get involved as much as possible. You can talk to Olivia or Mrs. Robinson if you are interested. Our sports teams have done very well this week. Let's jump over to Kyle for some updated stats in our Team of the Week. It's another good week for Palmyra Sports. And now a 4-0 football team won against East Pennsboro, holding off a fourth quarter rally by the Panthers with a final score of 28-21. Girls Volleyball put up a 3 sets to none victory over Greencastle Antrim, followed by a 3-2 win against West York. The girls soccer lost a close one 1-0 against Hershey, while boys soccer put up a 3-0 win over Northern York, but lost 3-2 to Hershey. Both cross country teams won the Lebanon County meet, and individually the boys lost 23-31 to Hershey, but beat Susquehanna Township 15 to 50. Meanwhile, the girls lost both matches by a score of 18 to 41, falling to Hershey and Susquehanna Township. The tennis team fell 4 to 1 to Cumberland Valley, while the golf team finished first in their Capital Division match at Middletown. Golfers Quinton Leonard, Andrew Alquist, and Brandon Turk each finished with a sub-80 round, while Nick George was shot an 87 to secure the win. Lastly, our team of the week is the field hockey team. At the end of the first half, the Cougars were down 4-1 to one at the hands of the Hershey Trojans with a lone first half goal on a penalty stroke by Skylar Dyke. The Cougars came out strong following the half as Maya Julian opened up the second half scoring, making it a 4-2 game. After two Trojan scores, Lauren Wattis followed with a strike on the cage and on a corner, making it 6-3. Nora Simmons added another late point, making it 6-4 to, to close out the scoring. Come see the girls on Saturday, October 22nd, as they host the annual Cougar Classic at In the Net for the opening faceoff at 9 a.m. Back to you, Cam and Gunther. Great job to all the athletes who had games this past week. Keep up all the great work. Also, any student who is interested in joining FCS Club, the first informal meeting is on Monday, September 24th at 2.50 in room 120. And now it's time to take a look at this weekend's weather with Garrett. Good morning, everybody. Let's get things started right away. Uh, today's high is around 80 degrees, low around 66, mostly cloudy for the day. Chances of rain showers this evening, scattered thunderstorms could spark off a few th um, thunderstorms from the front that's coming in. But it'll be mostly cloudy for this evening, a very good chance of no precipitation if you do plan to make the trip out to Camp Hill for the game tonight. Let's head into the weekend. On Saturday right here, we do have that it is mostly sunny with a high of 75. This is looking like the best day of the week on the 22nd. On Sunday here, we do have a little bit of clouds moving in most of the day. Um, high of 69, low of 56. And then on Monday, this is looking like the worst day of the week. Um, rain showers through most of the day and high of 66, low of 58. Back to you. Thanks, Garrett. Seniors, you should have received a senior bio form from the yearbook from your first period teacher. These forms are due to Mrs. Stroh by November 2nd. If you did not receive a form, you can pick one up from room 122. There is a prestigious university that started last year here at the high school. Let's learn more. Lisa Smith University has caught the attention of many in the past year, so I was fortunate enough to sit down with Tate Watson and John Pallone, two graduates of the university. The origin at LSU comes from the amount of work that you receive. For example, being a graduate of business law, I feel like I could go in front of the Supreme Court and give a legitimate defense against somebody. You said law, it's a lot of work. 
a lot of work. Like a college. So the origin of LSU came from out of um, a conversation that John Pallone had with several of my students last year over uh, coursework. Tate Wasson continued to ask me if I had a university and I was in charge of one, what would my mascot be? So I showed him my laptop. I was sitting here like this and I said, look at the laptop. What do you think I would be? It's a tiger, of course. So of course, you know, everyone in the class already knew about LSU and I'm just finding out. So the coincidence of purple and yellow and tiger and LSU, for those of you that don't know, is Lisa Smith University. Some advice I would offer to any recruit coming in uh, to LSU, I would say get your work done at least three weeks early because you get, do get a lot of work. So it's gonna be a handful. My advice to upcoming recruits at LSU is uh, make sure you get your work done also and make sure your phone is off and on silent and in the bag. Pocket, no. Bag, yes. She can scout a phone out from about a mile away. If you have your earphones in, she will tell you to take them out politely. If you do it a second time, she will rip them out or cut them with scissors. This is Garrett Core reporting for Cougar Media News. Underclassmen, there's a survey that was emailed to you on the, your school Gmail account. Please fill out the survey and submit it as soon as possible. Homecoming will take place next Saturday, September 29th. Here's some more information about the dance. Hey PHS, Homecoming's right around the corner. This year's theme is Decades. Pick up your tickets at lunch for only $10. $10? That's right. Buy your tickets now and save the door. Bring a friend. <laughs> Bring a date. Bring your family. What are we doing? High school gym, September 29th. We'll see you there. Students who would like to bring a guest who is not a Palmyra student to the 2018 Homecoming Dance on Saturday, September 29th must fill out a guest permission form, which is available from the high school website. Forms must be turned in to the office by September 21st at 3 o'clock. Also, next week is Spirit Week. Monday is USA Day. Tuesday is Twin Day. Wednesday is College Day. Then is Throwback Thursday. And finally, Friday is Cougar Spirit Day. Don't forget to dress up. That's it for this week, PHS. Don't forget to tune in next week for a great episode.